Practice Panther has just enhanced our amazing integration with QuickBooks Online. This video will go over all the ways Practice Panther and QuickBooks Online can work together so you can spend less time counting your money and more time making it. QuickBooks is a billion dollar billing company that specializes in all things accounting. They are not a master of none and can handle every aspect of accounting your business would need. Your accountant has likely recommended QuickBooks sometime in the past. QuickBooks is great to help you manage your payroll, expenses, profit and loss reports, taxes, and more. You can even invite your accountant directly to your QuickBooks account. This means there's no need to share your login with your accountant as they're going to have their own. Practice Panther can sync with any version of QuickBooks Online except the basic startup plan here for independent contractors. We can integrate fine with Simple Start, Essentials, and Plus. It's also worth noting that we can only integrate with QuickBooks Online, not the QuickBooks desktop version that they offer. Syncing Practice Panther with QuickBooks Online is easy. Just click your name on the top right go to settings, then scroll all the way to the bottom to the integration section on the bottom left and click on QuickBooks. Here, click connect to QuickBooks and if it asks you to, plug in your QuickBooks online login info if needed. Otherwise, just hit authorize right down here in the bottom right. Next, Simply pick which QuickBooks account you would like to be your operating account and which QuickBooks account you would like to be your trust account, and then hit save. Now that your QuickBooks account is fully integrated, from this point forward, all operating payments, trust payments, invoices, time entries, and expenses on those invoices will appear in QuickBooks automatically for you from this point forward. If your QuickBooks account is synced up with more than two bank accounts, not to worry. You can set up as many additional bank accounts here on Practice Panther as needed. To add an additional bank account, just click More and then Bank Accounts. On this page, you'll see a full list of every bank account you have on Practice Panther thus far. To add an additional bank account, simply click the green New Bank Account button right here. You can go in and name your account. So we can say Operating Account 2 and pick what type of account this is. This is obviously an operating account. You can also add additional bank account information here for your own records. We do not need this information to link with your actual bank account. Then click Save. Now we're going to go ahead and see what it looks like to add items in Practice Panther and how those items transfer over to QuickBooks Online. First, let's create a new contact to play with. New Contact. Let's go ahead and name this contact John Books. There we go. And normally we would fill out all their information, but for right now we're okay. We can just go ahead, scroll down, and save. Next, we're going to create a new matter for us to record all of our work inside of. We're going to call it John vs. the World. Very big ambitions for John. Again, normally you would fill all this stuff out, but for right now we're just going to save the matter. Now I'm going to show you what a retainer payment looks like in the operating account and in the trust account, both here on Practice Panther and on QuickBooks Online. To add a retainer payment, just hit New on the Matter and go down to Payment. Click Add a Retainer. Add a payment for any money you've already received. Enter the amount you received, so we're going to say we got $1,000 into our operating account as a retainer. The date you got it how you got the money, and any additional notes on that transaction, like the check number, for example. Then make the deposit. Now this isn't physically moving any money around, it's just making the payment here on Practice Panther for your records and moving it over to QuickBooks as well. We're gonna do another payment for our trust account so we can see how that looks as well. Same process, new payment, add another retainer, add a payment, and we're going to say it's another $1,000 going into our trust. And now I have to go over to QuickBooks and find it. 
To show the operating payment that we just made, just go over here to the left in QuickBooks and click on Sales. Make sure the Customers tab is clicked on the top and go down to find your client. Here I'm going to click on John Books, the client we made in Practice Panther. And over here, we're going to see the $1,000 payment we made to credit and its status is unapplied because it hasn't been used on any invoice yet on Practice Panther. To see the trust payment that we just made, just click on Accounting on the left to open up your chart of accounts here. Click on View for your trust account, and this will show you all the trust accounts we've received so far. And we can see the payment that we have for John Brooks right here. Now let's go ahead and see what an invoice will look like when it's made on Practice Panther and sent over to QuickBooks. I just created this invoice in Practice Panther. We can take a look at it here. We see the balance is for 134 and we still have our trust and operating account retainers waiting to be used. So this invoice is still unpaid. Over in QuickBooks, we can see all of our invoices by clicking on sales on the left, then all sales on the top. When I scroll down, we'll see invoice number 99 for John Books. And then when I click on it, we'll be able to see the entire invoice summary right here. Now I'm going to enter a payment using the retainer money we have on this contact. I'm just going to click enter payment on the invoice, use retainer credit. I'm going to choose to use my trust money which is located right here. And we need to use $134.98. Next, apply credits. This is now taking the $134.98 we have available in our trust and applying it directly to the invoice. Now that we've paid off the invoice using the trust balance, we can see that it's been marked paid on Practice Panther. Right down here, we'll see there's no more balance left and the payment that we applied is right here. And going back to QuickBooks, we will now see when we open the invoice that has been updated and fully paid off here as well. You can also write checks directly in Practice Panther and either print them out in Practice Panther or print them out from QuickBooks directly. To write a new check in Practice Panther, hit New and then Payment and then Take Money Out. This will require you to have uh, some money in the trust or operating account as credit. Uh, sitting on your client, but we can go ahead and take out, let's say, $500 from our trust account uh, via check, and we're going to say this is to uh, pay third-party medical expenses, whatever it was for. Select a payee, so we're going to go ahead and type in John Books. We're also going to make sure that it is set to print right here before hitting save. Anytime we want to print all of our checks, just hit more, then bank accounts. From here, you can click on the print check button. This is going to show you a complete list of all transactions taking money out of your accounts. Let's say we just want to see the payments coming out of our trust account. We're going to change all accounts to trust account. Then we're going to check off the payments we want to print checks for. We're going to scroll down and we're going to decide what type of check page we have, whether it's uh, one per page or three per page, what our starting check number is, and then click print. This is going to provide you with a PDF that you can easily print out on top of your checks as needed. Make sure the right checking paper is in your printer before doing so. To print the check from QuickBooks, simply find the transaction by hitting the magnifying glass right up here. Click on the check that you would like to print. And on the bottom, we can click Print Check. First, select the type of check you'd like to use, load the paper into your printer, preview the example, and finally, click on Finish with the Setup. Then go ahead and add your starting check number right here, and click Preview and Print. Review the checklist one more time. You're just going to hit print right here. And there you go. To 
order more checks from QuickBooks directly from Practice Panther, just click on the Order Checks button right here on the Print Check page. This will take you to the menu you need on QuickBooks to order more checks directly to your office. To reconcile your trust account here on Practice Panther, just open up the Bank Accounts page and then click on the account you'd like to reconcile. Scroll down and click Mark Reconciled for each payment you'd like to reconcile and match up with your bank. You can refresh the page and you will see all your newly reconciled deposits in the Reconciled list right here. To reconcile your trust account on QuickBooks, open up your chart of accounts, then click on View Register for your trust account. Once you're on that page, you'll just hit Reconcile here on the top right, and this will take you to the reconciliation page on QuickBooks. All you need to do is check off the ones you'd like to reconcile and match up with your bank. Scroll to the bottom to review it here on the bottom and then click finish now. Adjustment date, add the adjustment and we are done. You can click on this report here to see the full reconciliation report anytime.